Hey, good afternoon. It is noon here on Friday. I hope everybody's having a great week here. I know a lot of us still work on the weekends and, and so forth. So, But anyway, have a great, uh, hope you had a great week. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Big football game this weekend here, Tennessee and Georgia. So that's a whole nother, I think the whole uh, state's going to just stop for about three and a half, four hours. Stop what they're doing to watch the game. So having said that, uh, who's not stopping is the Fed. The Fed keeps on raising rates here. They raised them, I think, about six times. I got some notes here. Six times here uh, this year so far. They started at 0.25%. Now they're up to 4%. And, and remember, this is just the banks lending to banks. It's short-term rates. The effect of the Fed raising rates is not directly affecting mortgages. I'm going to explain that here in a second. But basically, they're trying to slow down inflation here. So if the Fed can get a handle on it and, and people feel, you know, the market feels that they're starting to get a handle on it, rates should be driving down uh, here in the, hopefully in the first, second quarter of 2023 when they officially call recession. Um, and hopefully, you know, rates start coming down to around the 5% range or possibly, you know, somewhat lower than that. No guarantees on that, obviously. Uh, but uh, that's the big thing right now. So they're trying to curb inflation. They're trying to uh, trying to get ahead of it, so we're trying to catch up to it. They're way behind it because remember when it started out, they said it was transitory, uh, meaning that it was temporary. Uh, that's good. And everybody knew that was completely false, and they were way off of it at that point. So right now, that's what the effect of it is. So if they can get a handle on it, and rates can come down, what the effect of the housing market is is that basically there's a lot of people on the sideline uh, who are waiting to get in. You know, especially for some home buyers waiting for rates to come down because right now, I mean, you know, like you're somewhere in the mid sixes to seven, sometimes higher than that, depending on. And remember, rates have 26 factors that factor into rates, okay? And some of those factors are LTVs, loan to values, credit scores. Uh, basically, um, you know, if they basically can, um, you know, the, the you know, type of program, conventional or, or, you know, FHA or VA and so forth, there's so many different factors that factor into. into um, you know, into interest rates. So right now, since the Fed's raising, they're probably going to raise it again in December. Um, they're, they're trying to slow down inflation. So, but once again, I think they're going too fast. I think if they just, you know, raised it and then it takes some time for the economy to bite. They're hoping that it slows down the economy. People start saving more. Okay. And basically, uh, you know, driving down the uh, demand and hopefully thus curbing the inflation part. So, Right now, that's kind of where we're at right now, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on it here. Uh, the the hike cycles, you know, the, the Fed hike cycles over the last 50 years have shown that this uh, does, you know, offshoot of this is to bring down long-term rates, which is mortgages and so forth, okay? But it doesn't directly affect mortgages, okay? Any questions on that? Just comment down below, shoot me a private message. Uh, we'll keep on watching this. We'll keep on giving the information out to everybody here to help you out. Uh, but all indicators are hoping, uh, looking to, you know, rates coming down in 2023, hopefully down to about the 5% range or so. Okay. If you got any questions on that? Just let me know. Shoot me a comment down below. Shoot me a private message. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.